I had forgotten that Star Wars author Chuck Wendig existed, and I wish I still didn't remember that he existed. He wrote some of the worst Star Wars fiction in history, absolutely destroying the brand. And this is well before all the crappy Kathleen Kennedy content started coming out. I mean, he was really one of the first ones out there uh, just pushing the woke agenda, pushing Star Wars into degeneracy, and of course making something that was completely unreadable because the guy can't write. Now, uh, Chuck Wendig has another history, which we'll get into in a moment, but he's out there like defending this woman uh, director. If you know, remember the story that's going around the other day, the Jedi Order director is out there saying, it's about time a woman of color st- makes the Star Wars franchise roll, or whatever the hell she said. Uh, and she's pulling the same SJW woke victim narrative, of course, of identity politics, right before she's even filmed anything. So, of course, they're going to make this film when it fails, again, a advertising campaign saying, oh, everybody's just racist and sexist, that's why they didn't give this film a shot. Uh, it, it's the same old narrative over and over and over again. They create this, like, controversy around themselves because they just push identity politics, they don't make a good product, and then they blame the fat pack that the bad product fails on you, the fan. And, of course, Chuck Wendig is a great example of a person who does this as well. Now, he actually chimed in on an author's Facebook post about this, which was pretty funny. So uh, we got to look this up here at Fandom Pulse, our new website. We're pop culture entertainment news. There's our good friend Chuck Wendig. You see him with the soy face. Uh, one of the cringiest people out there. Now, a uh, personal anecdote, uh, Chuck Wendig was one of the people who attacked me back in 2018, 2019. I had no idea. I mean, I knew the guy's Star Wars books were crappy, uh, but I just never interacted with him or anything like that. And he's out there ranting on Twitter and Facebook about me, uh, calling me all sorts of names uh, because, of course, uh, what happened at the time was this convention libeled me. They, they called me a racist, of course, which uh, they had to pay severely for because of, that was a complete lie. And uh, people like Chuck Wendig went and amplified their message to harass me and try to get me blacklisted from the industry. A really nasty fellow. And uh, Chuck Wendig ended up calling me a septic diaper. Yes, I put it on the back of one of my books as a, as a pull quote. This is ridiculous. Uh, these people are, are obsessed with poop and obsessed with uh, sex and poop sex. Uh, interesting. <laughs> but uh, that's how my only interaction with Chuck Wendig. He blocked me after that. You got to remember the guy also went out there and said that people who voted for Trump uh, should be put into wood chippers and uh, and terrible other things like this, trying to incite violence against Trump supporters over the last uh, decade as well. It actually got so bad that even Disney, uh, Disney Mar or Disney Star Wars, fired him from the books, according to him. Uh, because of his outrageous tweet statements. The guy's just a piece of work. And you know if Disney, the wokest company in the world, is firing you when you are causing that kind of problems uh, for them, uh, which you're doing from the left, uh, that you really are that big of a problem. So he went on, of course, to talk about this uh, this lady here who's doing the Jedi Order deal. And uh, her comment had nothing to do with Star Wars. It was an earlier unrelated comment from eight years ago. Now what happened is a bunch of news uh, reporters went through and, and, and sourced this this gal, because she made an outrageous content comment about identity politics with Star Wars, and they found that she's had a history of making such identity politics ones. She actually says she wants to make men uncomfortable with her films. Now, that wasn't in direct relation to Star Wars because she wasn't filming Star Wars at the time, but that's obviously what she wants to do, and she still continues to want to do. So Chuck Wendig's being completely disingenuous here in white knighting for this lady. Chuck, if you watch this video, uh, I don't know that you'd want to, but... Uh, She's not going to sleep with you, bro. It's just not going to happen. And so uh, author Richard Fox went in and just completely savaged this guy. Now, Richard Fox has a new book out on Amazon and Audible called Light of the Veil. Beautiful book and uh, absolutely recommend here. Uh, it is a Star Wars killer. I think he replaces Star Wars quite well with this. He says, Chuck Wendig, got to tell you, anytime I feel insecure about my writing, I go to Aftermath's Amazon page, that's Star Wars Aftermath, and read the one-star reviews. I feel a little better as I know no matter how much I might question what I wrote, it'll never be the shit you excrete. Your three Star Wars books were a big brown flag as to how the rest of the post-Lucas Star Wars was going to go. That's not a compliment. Oof absolutely just torched him uh and i love it uh it's absolutely true too i mean we'll uh, maybe do a live stream of one of those uh star wars we'll go over his uh, reviews of how bad that book is i mean you won't believe it uh so then he goes chuck wedding holy moly we're talking about the people who ruined their shot at star wars and look who turns up mr herkily jerkily space diapers gay for no reason characters himself yes that's what he did with aftermath he 
made a bunch of gay characters, uh, put some chicks in it and made it gay, like Kathleen Kennedy likes. And, and Herkily Jerkily is a reference. It's a meme because of Chuck Wendig's bad writing. And uh, his actual writing from the book says, The tie wibbles and wobbles through the air, careening drunkenly across the mirror rooftops. It zigzags Herkily Jerkily out of sight. And that's what became the meme from his bad writing. So Richard Fox says, you could have been the next Timothy Zahn who wrote the Heir to the Empire trilogy. Great uh, writer himself. But effed it all up with equal parts pandering and ham-fisted storytelling. Oof. Absolutely savaged. Uh, now, Chuck Wendig is, of course, uh, got us blocked. And so he's got, he is uh, way, way too cowardly to ever uh, confront us over here or ever uh, get back and talk and apologize for the crap he said about me. But uh, funny stuff to watch today and enjoyable on fandompulse.com. Go check out our articles there. That link's in the description below, along with my web store, my subscribe star. I appreciate guys who are channel members too. Uh, we are trying to provide great pop culture entertainment news, and we definitely need your support. So thank you very much. Bye.